It was a case of one reform too many for David Cameron this week after plans for minimum alcohol pricing were dropped. A lot can change in a year. I think this minimum unit pricing is a big part of the answer. It's mad when you can buy cans of lager for 25p or two litres of cider for less than £2, so we need to deal with that. Fast forward to today and the deal's off. At a press conference with the Italian Prime Minister, David Cameron was forced to explain himself. There are good arguments for it. The argument has uh, a lot of merits, which I myself have spoken about. But I think there are these two problems. There's a degree of legal uncertainty. It's been introduced in Scotland, but it's still under legal challenge. And there's also question marks about its, um, about the evidence behind it and how well it can work. Rather than introduce a minimum unit price in England and Wales, the government will ban alcohol being sold at less than cost price, which works out as duty plus VAT. That means that from spring 2014, a can of lager can't be sold for less than about 40 pence. But is alcohol really being sold at the low cost price? Certainly not in this off-licence, where a can of beer would set you back £1.08. No wonder then that some campaigners think this policy is falling a bit flat. In a week when plans for plain cigarette packaging were also stubbed out, many health campaigners feel let down. The government simply has lost interest in public health. It's, we've seen it um, ditch plain packaging, we've seen it ditch minimum pricing for alcohol now, both of which are policies which we know will work. Um, they seem to be much more concerned about keeping on side uh, big business interests. What we will be able to introduce is something the last government never did, which is to say it should be illegal to sell alcohol below the price of duty plus VAT. For Labour, one man's to blame. What's Linton Crosby's Thank view on that? Linton Crosby is a Tories election strategist. He's also a lobbyist known to have links to the tobacco industry. Labour thinks his fingerprints are all over the cigarette packaging policy. But for the Prime Minister, it's the unions who have undue influence. A long-awaited lobbying bill has now been published, which includes a statutory register and, more controversially, curbs on union funding for Labour in elections. Sophie Ridge, Sky News.